Hi everyone, so finally we will begin the course that everyone wait for. So this course basically will change your life as technician or engineer. So in this course we gonna see everything about how to repair a laptop motherboard, any kind of laptop. Did laptop motherboard, failed laptop motherboard, shorted motherboard, no power laptop no data etc this is basically a very important course that will take about i don't know one hour or two hours but i'm sure that you will understand everything you want how to use the multimeter how to take measurement laptop motherboard circuits uh, test points etc so let's get started so as you can see here, we gonna begin as you can see and see some excerpts. Okay, so basically here we have the motherboard, where here we have the multimeter and we have the adapter. First, we gonna connect the adapter to the motherboard. Okay, so in this course, we gonna study the motherboard with power on. Okay means we gonna power on the motherboard and take measurement using the multimeter and of course analyze all motherboard circuits including 3 volt and 5 volt circuit cpu circuit ram circuit chipset circuit etc okay so here what we have here we have a motherboard as you can see so we have here the power jack cable here we have basically the power jack plug okay here we have the power the power jack with extension with this cable in this cable as you can see we have four wires so two red wires for 19 volt this is high lines okay and two black wires this is basically the ground okay so this wires means these two pins over here do you see this arrow means here you can measure 19 volt and these two are these two means here we have the ground okay so basically here we have the plug okay and over here this component as you can see here we have the charge circuit do you see this circuit this is basically the charge ic circuit here we have inductor we have mosfets or switches as we have seen in previous videos these two switches basically they will take 19 volt and deliver 19 volts okay we gonna see all this here we have a zener diode we have resistors we have some transistors etc basically here we have protection component okay and this one this is basically inductor okay so once we connect the adapter here we can then check whether we get here 19 volts or not so for this these two inductors this circuit basically is 3 volt 5 volt circuit we have two inductors one inductor is for 3.3 volt and the other for 5 volt and we have the control ic the 3 volt 5 volt control ic and we have two capacitors okay so in every channel you will find inductor capacitor okay and here we have test point or the pad inductor capacitor test point and of course some capacitors okay now once we connect the adapter as you can see here this is the 3 volt 5 volt or 3 volt and 5 volt circuit okay so of course we can go directly and check 19 volt and track the voltage over here but i will give you a trick that you can use to gain time and don't waste time while troubleshooting any motherboard once you connect to adapter go ahead directly and check the 3 volt and 5 volt okay don't waste time here because if you get here 3 volt and 5 volt means hair is good but if you didn't get here 3 volt and 5 volt means you should go back and check the input circuit or the charge circuit okay so 
to check the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit what should we do first so here we should put the multimeter okay of course to DC voltage so because the adapter deliver 19 volt to the motherboard then we should put the multimeter to 20 volt the higher voltage that the voltage that the adapter deliver to the motherboard okay then we should put the black prop of the multimeter as you can see here in the ground everywhere in the motherboard you will find ground here we have ground here also we have ground okay and of course for in the same capacitor you will find ground okay here for example we have ground okay then you can use the real probe to check this two inductors okay so for example as you can see this inductor is for 3.3 volt that's why we get here 3.3 volt as you can see in here in the schematic okay so we have here 3.3 volt so we have the inductor as you can see this is the inductor that we have this this inductor is this inductor okay and here we have an electrolytic capacitor as you can see here we have electrolytic capacitor and then we have ceramic capacitor this one is the ceramic capacitor and then we have the pad as you can see here we have the pad or the test point okay so here we get three volts as you can see in the multimeter we check this inductor we get 3 volts okay so basically this is the 5 volt channel here where we have inductor capacitor the test point and thermal capacitors and 3 volt channel here where we have as you can see inductor thermal capacitor and test point so as you can see here also when we check the capacitor okay here here basically this circuit is zoomed in over here do you see this capacitor is this one so always the black probe in the gr ground and the red probe in the positive terminal of the capacitor as you can see here we have here the positive terminal of the capacitor okay we have negative terminal this color means negative terminal and here we have positive terminal do you see we get here 3.3 volt for this capacitor also because this capacitor as you can see over here is connected to inductor and connected to 3 volt power rail okay so we get 3.3 volt here in the inductor this inductor and also in this capacitor this capacitor as you can see here in the schematic the same thing for the pad also so we check 3.3 volt here it's okay here it's okay and for the pad or the test point as you can see over here and over here we get 3.3 volts okay means this circuit or channel is good now we gonna use the same working principle and check the 5 volt circuit okay we gonna check also the 5 volt circuit so we should find 5 volt here in the inductor and also in the electrolytic capacitor here we have positive terminal and also in the test point basically just i teach you how you can take measurement but if you check for example just the inductor and you find 5 volt so it's enough okay or you check the pad or the electrolytic capacitors when there is for example a short circuit in the motherboard you will find that here you will measure zero so as you can see here always the black probe in the ground and the red probe we put it in the inductor this inductor basically is as you can see is this inductor over here okay so this is basically a 5 volt channel okay this is 5 volt channel okay here we have inductor here we have electrolytic capacitor cell capacitor we have the pad and we will get 5 volt so we get 5 volt as you can see 4.99 volts so also when we check the electrolytic capacitor as you can see here here we have the electrolytic capacitor we get also 5 volt in the multimeter 
Okay, so for this capacitor, as you can see here, we have 220 microfarad, 6.3 volt. This characteristics are rated ab above it over here. You will find the same characteristic as we have in the schematic. Okay, so the same thing for the path, as you can see here. We check the path. As you can see, using the multimeter, we get 5 volt. Here we have the pad or the test point. So basically here, I want to add that. Why exactly we use this component here? So the inductor here has as a purpose to adjust the current of this 5 volt. Basically, it increases a little bit the current where it is not enough. Here, those capacitors are here to filter the current. Basically, this one, it filters the current in order to get a pure current, and this one is, it eliminates the noise in the circuit. And of course, we have here the part where we can check whether we get 5 volt or not. So now we can see that this circuit the 3 volt and 5 volt circuit are okay. Why? Because we find that all voltages means 3.3 volt volt, 3.3 volt and 5 volt are good. Okay, so why? So it's not important to check the input circuit. You should go directly and check 3 volt and 5 volt. When you find once again, 3 volt and 5 volt are ok, means automatically here have to be ok. But if we find, for example, these two voltages are missing, then we should go back and check the, the input circuit. Because when this one is good, of course this one should be good. And when this one is not good, this one have obviously a problem. And of course, if there is a problem here, we cannot get here 3 volt and 5 volt. So this is the input circuit or the charge circuit where we have the charge IC as you can see. And this is 3 volt, 5 volt circuit where we have the 3 volt, 5 volt integrated circuit with two channels. Okay, so that's it guys for this video. We're gonna continue with part two and we're gonna go step by step until we study the whole motherboard and the whole circuit in the motherboard using of course the schematic the multimeter and using my experience and analyzing everything in the motherboard thank you very much and please don't forget to like the video subscribe and share the video with people that interested like you and of course for anyone who want to join me in my Patreon page you are very welcome thank you very much and see you tomorrow with the next video